All right, guys, this is just an update here on the M17, uh, M14 EBR. Last time I showed you guys the single tank, and I went ahead and I made the little manifold for the double tank. So now I have two 1100 PSI tanks, one on each side. So we have a 60 round drum. Like this is 60, I got right now in here, I got 10 gram riot balls with steel cores. They're PVC from Home Defense 24 riot balls. Same as the old, looks like gone out of stock, gone out for good Canada riot balls. Home Defense 24 now has them back in stock, I believe, again. So, yeah, 10 gram riot balls. They're a little bit smaller around the 682 area. So, we got 60 of those coming out at roughly 100 joules. We already did a test with these. Um... Yeah, but anyways, let me just get down to it. This is, once again, it's uh, a kill house buffer tube. Uh, it's an air through, so it will have a fill nipple on it. I removed the fill nipple, which is an N 1.8 NPT fitting. Um, if you guys want to see all the parts and how I put these together and uh, the links, go check out my recent. It'll be within the last four videos. It's my HDB video dual tank and the HDR 68 video so if you guys uh, want to see where to get all these parts and fittings and stuff to make your own um, they fit on any marker that has a bottle tank set up that a tank through setup or any modified T4E marker um, like the TMC uh, the new burner one uh, the M17 the VKS anything that has a bottle tank sticking out uh, they'll work with but, uh, yeah, you can go check out those two videos. It's the recent HDB 68 one and the recent HDR 68 one. So, I'll flip it upside down here for you. We got our tanks. This is our on-off, on-off. Um, again, these tanks are not under any pressure other than the normal regulator pressure that they sit under when they're unscrewed. So, when you screw them in, still nothing pressurizes until you screw this. You just butt these up. Well, as you screw this in, your a pin's moving towards that to engage the tank pin. So that when you screw it, you'll feel it tighten up. And then the, once you get to that point, it's a quarter turn. So then you can just leave it there before you turn it. Now you can store it anywhere you want. And when you're ready to shoot, you can have a tank, say, 700 PSI, 50 PSI. That'll give you 70 joules. And then you can have another one here that's 100 PSI, or sorry, 1100 PSI, and that'll give you 100 joules. Or you can do a, a 700 PSI and then like a 500 one, so that way it's not a lethal setup. But um, if you can go lethal, hey, go ahead, <laughs> if, you can, if you're allowed to. Um, anyways, yeah, we got our gauge. That's the marker gauge. This is a full Home Defense 24 decked out kit. Um, but yeah, if you can see in here, uh, the parts, you'll see a closer look. Um, it's just an HPA tank adapters, HPA universal tank adapters. I got, uh, this is an on-off degasser, sorry, this is a degasser. So when you're done shooting, you turn your tanks off and then you just turn this to purge it with the marker and now you turn it back and then you get good to store it again. And then just a simple quarter turn from these guys, and you're in business again. But yeah, these are all 1.8 NPT fittings. This is a T-bar manifold. It goes right into the buffer tube. Uh, let me see here. Flip this around. But there's the top of it. You guys can see. And then coming up. Yeah, we just got a... The male nipples, there's three of those. You'll see it on the manifold. It's hard to explain it and show you here at the same time without taking it apart. But go check out those videos and you can see exactly how I did it. But look, two tanks, they had a little bit of weight. But all in all, the whole purpose of this, if people, why are you doing that? What do you need all those big bulky for? Well, I have 60 rounds in here and uh no single 13 ci tank or single 15 ci tank is going to send all 60 of those out so you kind of need two tanks uh i also have the carbon fiber tank 
15 CI, so that would help. This is probably good for around 30 shots, up to max. And then your other tank, well, I won't load the full drum with 60. It's a little bit hard in the spring, so 50. I'll go about 50 max. So those two tanks alone, these two 1100 PSI tanks, at about 20 each. So I should get close to that, but if I screw a carbon fiber tank in, or two carbon fiber tanks in, guaranteed I send off 50 shots. But at this kind of power, you don't have to worry about that. Like, you're good with just like a 500, uh, 500 PSI output tank. That'll probably put you closer around the 50 jewel mark. And then you can keep your 750 or a 700 tank on the other side uh, for that little extra kick. So if that doesn't do it, you turn your weakest tank on, click, you'll hear the bullet go move. And then if you shoot a couple shots and he doesn't deter, you don't even have to shut this one off. You just reach down and click the other side a quarter turn, click, and now you're you're going to be at 1,100 or the highest tank power now. So you'll go right from like 50 joules to 70 joules. Or 70 joules, if that don't work, you'll go right to 100. Which uh, I'm almost certain it will. And with most, probably 99% of the people in the world. Like 100 joules is lethal. Like If you can get away with using that and you're allowed to, all the power to you. But yeah, guys... There's that look. It looks kind of bulky, but it's not really. I mean, it is, but it isn't. And once again, I can also remove this whole stock and bumper tube and keep this set up. So I can bring it just short if I wanted to and just keep it. I have a VKS build I'm going to show that's like that. It doesn't have a stock. It's just a shorty setup with the two tanks. But, um, yeah, here are our turn one on for a second here turn the tank on there we just gassed up now I'll undo it make sure the gas is off so we're shooting 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 we're done shooting turn your gas off right here the ASA on off and then here's your degasser that purges the whole marker now so you don't have to dry fire there we go now you're good. You can start back on your wall now. Nothing's pressurized. Nothing's going to ruin your seals or your marker. It's good to store again. Um, yep. Yeah, that's it. There's two tanks down there. There's that side. And there's this side. And then that's pretty much it, guys. Um, M17. HD 24 kit, 60 round gotcha 3D drum, two EOTech fake scopes. Um, this is just a peck box, standard peck box. Fab defense grip, fab defense grip, HD 24 full decked out kit barrel, a 3D printed M14 kit EBR from Magfed Maker, and uh. CQR official hair arms. This isn't the knockoff. This is one of the real ones. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This thing's decked right out to the max. Just this would stop. This is a really, really good, effective. We don't need these 1100 PSI tanks. I just got them on there for show, but um, I, I'm going to tune a tank down to about 50 joules for this marker. Maybe 60 tops. I'll go with. Try and find something to tank with the right PSI. But anyways, guys, you guys take care, stay safe, and have fun as always.